And here's my next lawnmower find. This is a John Deere. It's a model JS60. With a Briggs and Stratton engine on here. I believe this is a six horsepower. Primer bulb engine. Came with the rear bag. I've also got a side chute with this and a mulch plate with this as well. And it runs. It just needs some maintenance as far as changing the oil, sharpen the blade, and just give it a good cleaning. For some reason or other, the rope is not in the rope hook. I've to check to see why that's not there, if the rope's too short. And he's also got a clip holding this bag. Apparently it was coming loose on him, he said. Model JS60. Needs a really good cleaning here. The oil looked very dirty in here. It actually looked a bit low as well. And underneath looks like it's been stored under a house. It's got some mold under here. Doesn't look like it's been used very much. Hasn't been used in a while. It did start. Definitely needs cleaning under here. This is a push mower. This is not a self-propelled. And we have spider webs on our engine, so it's definitely been sitting a while. And dead bugs, come to think of it. Look at that. I think this will clean up pretty nicely. Let me show you a little bit more about this John Deere and we'll check the air filter as well. And let's check the air filter in this John Deere. He said he had trouble starting this sometimes. Oh wow, we got a bug in our we have a bug in our air filter. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. That's not good. A cockroach, too. Not good having a cockroach in your lawnmower engine, is it? And the air filter is definitely dirty. We're going to get this cleaned and get rid of this cockroach as well. So this air filter will definitely need to be replaced. Wouldn't be surprised if this is original, but it was full of dirt. And we got rid of that cockroach too, which wouldn't help the engine at all. And here's the product ID number if this comes out on this John Deere. And we do have the operator's manual with this, so it's nice to get that for this John Deere. And the wheels are not in bad shape on here. And each pair of wheels has its own adjustment level. And there's the adjustment lever for the back wheels. So I got the side chute with this John Deere. And you can see it has a mulch plate that drops down once you remove the bag and chute here. Looks like he's replaced some bolts here. Also noticed he replaced some of these handlebar bolts here at one point in time too. And here's the back of this John Deere with the bag off now. Shoot cover. And it looks like it's a self-propel, but it's not. This is just a cover plate. I believe they use this on the self-propel models as well. And the bag seems to be in good shape here, as well for this John Deere. So let's give this John Deere a start. It started at his home. Cleaning that air filter should help, and also removing that cockroach. Uh, there's enough gas in it to run. Let's give it a prime here. 
a little slow retracting. And I'll also put the rope back up here in the rope hook where it should go. So here we go. much with this. Need to sharpen that blade. I want to change the oil as well.